reading story today is about Commander Cortez and the death of the Aztec Emperor. So now we go to Gabe in the field with the story. Hello, Hernando. How are you today? Great. I just conquered the Aztec Empire. Now all of Mexico and its inhabitants are mine. What are you going to do now that you have conquered this land? I will turn the natives into Christians. I will then turn them into slaves and then build more homes. The settlers will come over and Spain will rule the new world. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? I was, I was born in 1485 in Medallion, Spain in, the, in a lesser noble family. As soon as I knew of the new world, I came to live in the second village on the island of Cuba. I was then appointed to the army and the rest is history. Why were you originally sent to this world? I was supposed to be here for spices, Gideon, trade routes and slaves, but I disobeyed orders and conquered this land. Are you worried what will happen to you when you return to Spain? No, I'm sure that I'll be awarded for my great acts for my country. Well, I hope you're right, Fernando. Back to you, Oceanus. Thank you, Gabe, for that amazing information. Now we go to my interviewing an Aztec on the other side of the battle. Thanks, Oceanus. I'm here today with a local Aztec. How are you today, sir? So I'm at the Cortez Overthrow our Empire. Yeah. Oh, how did it happen? First, he greeted us warmly, and then he captured our leader, and our leader never made it out. What happened after that? He retreated, but came back, and isolated us, and then we started to get diseases. He struck us when we were weak, and left us in ruins. What's it like living under his empire? Cortez is our leader, and he is forcing us to give our Native American customs up, and forcing us to learn Christianity. Uh, well, that's a very interesting. Or, uh, now we go back to Oceanus. Thanks for that information on the other side of the battle. That's all we have for this segment of BN, folks. See you on the next segment.